Hello everybody, lovely to have your company this Sunday evening. My name is Scott, taking you through here, which is the launch of a brand new one day special, a new new for everybody for, to take advantage of here. Uh, and of course here, we've got some really lovely, lovely stamps for you to work with, which is fantastic. 57, in fact, in total, uh, all there for your delights. Now these are all inspired by actually Tina with a, a fantastic her groovy plates uh, collection they're all inspired by those we're going to have a little look at those a little bit later on as well um, but these are the two-way Christmas ornament stamp collection so the two-way what does that mean you might be asking well don't ask me I just ask a professional let's ask the lovely person behind these that you can see of course is our wonderful Barbara Gray he's there with us for the launch hello good evening Barbara Hello, Scott. I haven't seen you for ages. I know. <laughs> it's, been, it's been hours, hasn't it? <laughs> did you have a nice rest, <laughs> by the way, between our shows? I did. Uh, I had a cup of tea, chat to Dave, and just laughed my head off at the cats. The kittens <laughs> are just a joy. You know, I think, I think kittens, they just, um, they, they just pour such positive energy yeah. into a home you yeah know? they it's really lovely, do they really oh lovely that sounds like the per mm. i always try and watch our cat and i do my own david attenborough voiceover for them as well so it's uh it's quite amusing <laughs> it's quite amusing try that one um right barbara so I here we are it. the launch always a busy busy time we know it's going to be a very busy busy show um the two-way yes. uh now this is something that i'm interested in and um and you can explain a little bit more about these what does that mean exactly for these yeah. stamps now, so these stamps are absolutely spectacular. And what you'll see is in like, like now you're looking at that bauble set there. Yeah. So you've got two different baubles that are outlines and then you've got two solid surface stamps like yeah. we were talking about this afternoon. Yeah. So what we've got is two silhouettes. Now the dark ones, the silhouette ones are the infill for the line art. So that's why we call them two way oh, okay. because they work on their own. So you've got the positive and the negative, if you like. And the, and the solid, the solid stamp Stamps, they work beautifully on their own, but they also serve to colour in the top ones. And oh, so okay. it really is so easy to do. I, I want to show you. And they work independently beautifully, but together they're a dream. Ah, uh, great. So we've got some of the uh, the uh, the images we're just showing as well on the, on a plate for you. And these are all inspired by mm. Tina's on the on the groovy plates originally. That's right. So now Tina, she designed these originally, and I'm I know that the groovy plates are on the counter as well. Um, but the the images are so delightful, and just bear in mind that the black images, of course, they're black and white print. Yeah. But again, we go through to that, like the poinsettia. Obviously, it's not going to be black when you print it out. It's going to be a colour. Got you. So it, it really is very very clever. Very nice indeed. They're lovely to use. Really lovely. Well, listen, we're we already all busy. Together? I can Eight. tell you that now. Barbara we are already 10% almost 10% uh, of the stock oh, already wow. gone I know it's gonna be one of those launches I can feel it um, let me make sure that everyone's yeah. aware of all the facts and figures so for your one day special and just for your one day special mm. you got a 20 pound saving on that now that is the equivalent basically of getting eight uh, for the price of only six so a really good saving mm. to be had during this one day special for you so that brings that price down from just shy of 80 pounds down to just 59.92 the item code that you're going to need is nine zero Zero four seven zero four, and also to help you spread the cost, that means it is available on your Flexi Buy for just two payments of just twenty nine pounds and ninety six pence only. So there's loads and loads of ways I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to work with these to go through. We which we'll go through more detail. Is it worth me just showing a couple of uh, of examples that we've got I'd here? And Barbara, you just chat through with us. Is that okay? And we have hit the ten percent yeah. mark, by the way. Good grief, already? Yes. Yeah, you see, so here we go. So this is beautiful. So you've got the baubles on the side, and whoever has done this beautiful card has used the line art. Andy. And then just added, Anne, is it? Andy. Has just Andy's added, done it, yeah. Andy. Okay, well done, Andy. And he's just added a little bit of colour to the outside of the infill stamp, of the number two stamp, if you like. We've got one, two. We also do three-way overlays, but these are just two-way, so they're really, for Christmas, they're brilliant because they're yeah. fast. Really lovely. 
There we go. Oh, now that's Andy. I know it is because it in is. one of my demos at six o'clock, I looked at this and I thought, I want to try something similar because I really like the way he did this. Very yeah. nice indeed. And I love this particular design with the presents. It's so cool for Very... gift vouchers as well. Yeah, you know? oh, that's true. Yeah, of course it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Not just because that is really fantastic. I love that, actually. That's it's very pretty as well. This one done here. Who's this one by? This is made by Elaine, I think, is it? Lovely. And again, you see now, so corners, this is something that we've always enjoyed. Mm. And you can see here, there is a corner and then Elaine's done an extension. So she's made a whole frame with one little stamp in the corner. And uh, it's lovely. Very nice indeed. And then she's built an extension. So that means that you could make that frame any size you like. If you right, of course. Like yeah, I'll tell you what, it's getting I was really, trick with that. it's really, really busy cool. on the lines, by the way. Oh, everyone's coming through. Now we're approaching 20%. 20. I really, I do oh, love no. these, these gifts. These are great. I mean, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are fab. I this just should gorgeous. I was going to just say, say Barbara, that we should let people know that these are available individually if, if, if they're really taken. Yes. They're nine ninety nine if you want to go for those individual sets as well. But actually, when you're effectively getting two for free with the saving, uh, yeah. there's some real bargains to be had. In fact, that would help if I had done the right way around for you. There we go. We wish you a happy so Christmas. So lovely. So lovely. Now, see, funny enough, I didn't, I haven't seen this sample yet, but um, it's almost identical to what I want to show you. I thought tonight at six o'clock, what I would do, stop permitting, is just show you how I would use these stamps. Oh yeah. Why the thought behind them? Why they are? Why there are two-way overlays? You know. Right, definitely. Uh, shall I just show them, just to go through them individually on the stamps out boards that we've got, yeah, go just to it. just to make sure that we give the right names as well to the right set of stamps uh, that we've that we've got. Uh, so we can show off to start with that we're looking at here. Oh, I've got the upside down. Oh, there wait, we go. Um, That's a good start, isn't it? There we are. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, lovely. So we've got the baubles. We've got the large baubles and the small baubles. They're nice, aren't they? They are lovely. Really beautiful. And again, mm. lots of scope for colouring on these, isn't there? Isn't there really? Really pretty. So what are we calling those or ornaments? Baubles, yeah. Baubles, yeah. Okay, good. Other way around, love. Hang on, I've got I've got the whole board here around the whole lot. I've done, <laughs> typical. Pick up one, pick them That's all up right. the wrong way around. <laughs> These are the presents. Yeah. And you see what I love when you stay there a minute. Yeah. You see those lovely the different shape baubles. It's the dangles. You see now in the bottom, there's that little tiny thin line right down in the bottom right. Yes, yes, yes. And that is what Elaine used to make the extension oh. on the corner. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Right, lovely. So these yeah. are our presents right. we got. And then last but not least, the right way round. Uh, we've got the robins and yeah, the poinsettia, which is always it's always nice. a beautiful flower. The poinsettia, isn't it? Nice, nice, yeah, easy, easy to. You see, the thing about line art stamps, if you had the top ones, like the robins or the poinsettia, if you just had the upper, the upper stamp, the line art, yeah. as soon as you stamp that, you've got to go, okay, time to start colouring, and you get your pencils out, and you get your pens out. <laughs> but because we've got the two-way overlay, it's, and I'm not a fast. You know, I'm not a I'm not a stamper who wants to knock out loads of art in in you know in in, in minutes. Yeah. But what's brilliant about these is once you you take advantage of the transparency, the exactness of the stamps, it's brilliant that you can just you can just infill the stamps and you can still colour them in beautifully. Oh. You know, it's so much faster than having to take pencils and start colouring, especially at Christmas, Scott, because Christmas is the one occasion, especially this year, more than any year yeah. ever, where we're going to be wanting to send out lots and lots of cards. Yes, absolutely. I've been saying that a yeah. few times, actually. I totally agree. Um, we, need, we need that connection, like don't that we? Uh, final sets that we've got here. Uh, these are snowman and angels that we have. These are Angel. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, they're lovely. And now check out the corners on this. So you, on both of these sets, you've got two corners. And so on the snowman, you've got the corner. And then in by the angel, you've got the corner. And then those extensions on the other sets, they're perfect for increasing the size of the box. Right. That you're right. the aperture that you want to stamp into. Really nice. And those dangles are beautiful. Look at the little bauble dangles on the snowman. I know. One. They are. I mean, they are really beautiful, lovely. aren't they? 
gorgeous. Yeah, so, well, that's Tina's art. Tina has a flourish, you know. Well, I, I tell you what, uh, Tina must be very proud because these are going very quickly. I think we just hit a quarter of the stock, and that's nine oh, okay. minutes into the show. Uh, so uh -huh. let me give you the final details again for you to make sure you don't miss out on this uh, fantastic offer with that £20 off. So basically, you're getting six, uh, or eight, really, should I say, for the price of six. 904704. That will give you 57 stamps with that same. Saving, uh, bringing it down to just 59.92 that you can spread of course over your flexi buy should you wish to to take advantage of that offer that's just 29 pounds and 96 pence I think it's fair to say these are going to go very very quickly let's just show you what these were inspired by with regards to the groovy plates as well now this as you can see are the fantastic snowman and robins set already busy here only 14.99 item code here for snowman and robin is one zero 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 seven four six uh, I mean these are beautiful the, the, these plates are always gorgeous but these are particularly lovely uh, Barbara they are. And, and I have to say hats off to and many thanks to L L Lisa and Lucy at work who uh, Lisa she 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 deconstructed these plates and then turned them and so did Lucy and turned them into stamps so you can see here you've got all those you've got the robins you've got the snowmen you've got the, and what we did was we dedicated one little set of stamps to each of those images and i think it's worked because on here you've got all of them look yes good isn't it yeah Love absolutely them. just show the uh, the examples that we can see here as well i hope you can see the screen these above yeah. but they look beautiful don't they these Oh yeah, and and embossed and on on parchment, they are they are absolutely exquisite. Tina has a very very unique style, and and when it comes to groovy, she puts the modern in parchment. You know, she puts that real stylized, trendy flavour yeah. to what is a five hundred year old uh, skill, and yeah, it's wow. really brought parchment into the twenty first century. Her particular line art is quite unique. Right, yeah, I mean, they are simply... There is something quite magical in this style as well. I mean, they look beautiful when they're stamped, mm. but there is something really mm. quite magical about them, uh, that, that whole Christmas theme within these. And when you add the yeah. colour, like you say, th this is stunning. I love this snowman. Yeah, beautiful. And, and uh, tomorrow morning, stop permitting, I'm going to stamp on parchment, and that looks fabulous as well when you stamp on the designer parchment. Wow. So it works, you know, there, there really is a bridge between um, the groovy and the stamps, you know. The, yeah. the, 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 there is definitely a cross-pollination here. Well, they are beautiful. They're going very quickly. We look at 20% of the stock now, again, already gone here. 14 99 if you'd like to go for uh, the Christmas Snowman and the Robin set, One zero zero seven four. Or six uh, for those. Uh, moving down, we've got Christmas presents and holly for your set uh, nice. for those. And again, I'll show you uh, how these look actually together uh, once they've been put out. And then we'll give you some more examples that you can have a little look at. But again, you, if you can, I would strongly suggest uh, that people go for these oh, uh, for the whole set. <laughs> I don't do well. I'm, yeah, it's like I'm broadcasting in Australia for some reason. <laughs> no, absolutely marvellous. Um, and again, you see, what the girls did at work, they, at Clarity, they took these images and they they broke them down into independent stamp sets. Right. So you can see that even though in the, in the groovy plates there are three A4 square groovy plates, we've managed to, to de deconstruct all those images and turn them into eight stamp sets. It's yes. very cool, very clever. Really, really cool. Really nice. uh, I'm a big fan of that. Mm. I'm, I'm, see, I do love the snow, the snowman, but I really do love the gifts, the presents. I think are really fan, yeah. the, very funky, very yeah. cool looking, uh, very stylish. Yeah. Really like really these. Really nice, really nice. And you don't have to be a seasoned parcher to be able to use the groovy system. Literally, if you all you need is a is the the starter kit. If you've got the starter kit and you've got these plates, you're on your away, way. Away you, know? you go. And there is a there is a group on on Facebook called Groovy Worldwide with thousands of really really friendly people who are just waiting to help you. So if you wanted to start your uh, groovy journey and you like these images then all you need is the starter kit to get going and you, you're on your way. And you've also got a huge support system on Facebook. Perfect. Great to know that. Uh, double five, eight, one, three, two, 14, 99. Um, 
We've got to, oh, just want to make sure that everyone is aware that once the groovy plates, so we've heard, uh, just, just heard that once they've gone, they have gone as well. So Paul has just been in touch as well uh, that when they've gone, they have gone for these. So it is first come, first served. Uh, so I think we're on to the uh, Christmas baubles on these. Uh, you can see yeah. these are gorgeous again uh, with that detail that's come through here. Um, but again, please, please, please be quick on these, as like I say, because once they have gone, they have gone. Just see if I can find the original uh, to show you. Oh, I'll try it the right way around to start with, actually. I'll probably, there we go. Well, I think, uh, yes, yes. It's only taking me three products in. There we go, everybody. Uh, <laughs> so, Christmas baubles, everybody. They're beautiful. Marvellous. And there are so many, so many elements. I mean, that's one of the marvellous things about Groovy is you can take what you want and then just leave the rest behind. You know, with stamps, it's not as flexible as with Groovy because with Groovy, you literally can take the outside, the shape or the inside. You just you're, you're your own designer with the Groovy plates, you know. That they are. They are. You got see, a... That's a typical example of uh, whoever's done this has taken the shapes, but has then used their own initiative to uh, sum and sum. They've they use grid work on some of the shapes. It's very clever. Very lovely. Uh, they've got the mm. label over where they put their name on the back, but it's some, someone Jackson. Karen. Karen. There Karen we go. That'll probably be it. Be. There we go, Karen. Oh, sorry, I had a bit, of, a bit of tape over your name. Couldn't see that. Uh, Nine zero three five <laughs> six eight. Fourteen ninety nine again for all these. But again, remember when we said the, when they've gone, they have gone. So we do want to make sure that you don't miss out on these. Please grab them whilst you can. Uh, now, we've got a set of your stamps here, actually, which are beautiful. Now, these are Tina Cox's, the whole Christmas centrepiece complete stamp collection. Mm. And we're going to be getting... 18 stamps. Um, now, it's a phenomenal offer that we're going to be seeing here with a really big, big saving. Of course, if you're a Freedom member, uh, then you'll be really reaping the rewards in this as well. Just uh, fantastic. But this deal, uh, £10 off, uh, so it's down to £29.96. Uh, what can you talk to us uh, about these then for us, Barbara? Apart from the fact that I really, really love these. Oh, that's ones. good. That's a good start. These <laughs> absolutely are to me. They, they, they just sing out Christmas. You know, uh, enjoy the magic of Christmas again. Just by repeat stamping the same stamp four times, you get this exquisite um, festive frame, and uh, and it can be so traditional. The thing about these is they look so traditional, and yet you can make them so funky as well. Yes. I've got a demo lined up I, I borrowed one of D Paramore's demos because it's so cool and uh, and I want to show it to you if I get time yeah um, I, I'd like to I'd like to deconstruct it for you but but just have a look have, show us what you've got there well, no, I've got, you I've, show I've, us what you've got and I'll show you what uh, I've got well listen I'll show you mine first so I've got here uh, Go on. So this is working <laughs> It's working out four for the price of three. And when, when you mentioned funky, this one drew my, yes. drew my eye straight away. It's got to be Sam Crow, isn't it? Uh, it is. It is. This should be your mm. specialist subject or mastermind, you know. Guess the, de <laughs> guess the designer. <laughs> beautiful, though. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. See, it's so you wouldn't think that it, it comes from such a traditional stamp set. Yeah. But Sam, of course, she can turn her mixed media magic onto it and it just looks completely different. See, and that's the same set, and yet look how arty that is. Yeah. So, so clean and crisp. Totally you know? different. Totally different feel about yeah. these. I All love these stamps. And again, for for Christmas, if anybody's gearing up to get their Christmas cards ready, you know, these are they're like instant. No, I wouldn't say instant art. That's not true. But every one just is beautiful. They just look so. They're they're like centerpieces. They're done. Yeah. And here we go. Look, envelopes, matching envelopes. How nice does that look? And the front as well on that that's uh, yeah. really, oh, that really lovely? pretty. Uh, nice. It's got a great saving, everybody, and uh, one of those why not deals for the price you're looking at here, of course. Uh, so if you look at where your usual price is, then a special price, that £10 off, your freedom offer reduced that at 10% off again. Uh, and then, of course, when you think about your freedom saving, including your postage on this, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal offer uh, to take advantage. So the question is, why not take advantage, yeah. of course, then, of course, have your P&P &P then for the rest of the month all included. You can stop and start that contract whenever you want. Right, final pack shot, I think, we've got here to show you everything together where 10 percent has already gone and a lot of people haven't even seen this yet uh, this is your fantastic tina's festive centerpiece collection in the groovy plates for you here so you're getting four 
for the price of only three. So really good collector's opportunity here. Uh, 872186. Uh, and again, it, it's not going to take much of convincing here to say just how beautiful these do look uh, when they've actually been done with, uh, with the actual groovy plates as well. Um, I'll just show you these and we're going to come straight to you, Barbara, so we can see some of these lovely uh, pieces yeah, in action. Lovely. But these are these are gorgeous, yeah, aren't they? Absolutely look stunning. How, you see what I mean? For an absolute beginner, these are absolutely perfect because they they are the centerpiece. You you literally just trace them out, a little bit of white work, a little bit of pencil, mm. and you've got yourself a gorgeous centerpiece. They're like instant. You don't have to think overthink it. No. It's there for you. The, the work's done in many, yeah, many ways for you on this. You yeah, know, the, the, yeah. They are and, beautiful. And, you know, if, and then, for example, you, you see where the grid work is on that one. Now, yeah. if you wanted to, you could cut that out and then reveal the background, which is particularly attractive. Yeah. Yes. So many hints and tips. But really beautiful, yeah. beautiful pieces to go with. Uh, please do take mm. advantage. I think we, have we just hit a third of the stock? Did we just hear them? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, 872186 is your item code. Again, you've got that saving of £8 on here. So, again, you're getting uh, four for the price of three. 2396 So, plenty for you to add to your basket. Uh, we are approaching 20% of the stock. Here's the latest update. Um, right then, Barbara, I think it's over to you to see where do you start with everything you've just seen? What are we working at? <laughs> Well, before, because I have a feeling we're not going to get to this demo unless I have time tomorrow. But, you know, we were looking at those stamps, the centerpiece stamps, not the one day special, the second yes, set. Yeah. And I said, oh, they're like instant art, but really beautiful. Check this out. See, now I love that. Um, I just think this looks so brilliant. And this is stamped into the center. And this here is a die cut from Leone. Really, really funky. And this is just colored in, stamped in black on craft card, and then a white and red, pe white and red pencils and uh, a black micron pen. But that's Dee's work. Isn't it gorgeous? No, I love them. I just, uh, the simplicity, yeah. like you say, the colors are great. It really, it really, you know, to me, that is, that is fantastic. Yeah. And to take something that can be made to look so traditional and then turn it into something so young and modern yeah. is really, so hats off to you, Dee, for thinking of that yeah, one. Well if done. I get a chance, I did take it apart to put it back together again. Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought we'd have a look at the um, the two-way overlay stamps, and I'll show you what my thinking or what our thinking was behind it. Um, you know, they work on their own, but they work brilliantly together as well. Yeah. So, for example, um, let's just have a look. I think the most important thing is to to decide. Let's just let's just take a look. The first thing to do is to look at what colour you're going to put in the background and then that will decide what colours you're going to apply. And I'll show you what okay. I'm talking about. Okay. Let's look at Amazonia. Let's slow it down a little bit. Amazonia. So these are designer papers. And let's say, for example, we want to use something like this in the background. So this then will dictate or this will dictate which inks I go for. You see? Yep. that's going to be perhaps the right ink for a certain job. Um, but this ink, these ones here, these papers, then I know I'm going to reach for a different colour. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. You, 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 you move with the... So it's a lot easier to pick the background first right. and then the infill. That's the first thing. Good, great. So, yep. so let's say, yeah, it is, it makes sense. And if, for example, we go into the design toppers here, um, let me find one that I like. I like that, right? I'm going to go with this one here. And that one will give me um, these colours. See? So nice. now I'm going to pick out the colours that I know that are going to make the background pop. Let's just... So now I've got my colour, and we're just going to have a little experiment just to show you the idea behind okay. it. So let's now just take a piece of stamp board. Let's just do this. And then, as a, so you can see how beautifully they stamp out, mm -hmm. I'm going to use the angels because it's instant. It's like that. Yeah. Right. And bearing in mind that we want to, um, let's pretend we're going to make loads of cards for charity or we're going to, I'm just thinking this up with a, with a black archival, or we're going to send loads of cards, or we're going to make cards to sell, or 
or, you know, we're an angel company. Yeah. You have our blessing. If you, if you can, if you can hand make things to sell using our products, then, you know, more power to your elbow. Yeah, lovely. Brilliant. That's great. Thank you for that. It's brilliant. So we've got a black, lovely angel. She's there. And now I've got the infill. I've got this one. And this one sits exactly over the top of that one. You see? Okay. That yeah. sits over there. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. yeah, we got that's lovely, beautiful view. Yeah. Right, let me get my right glasses on so I can see. And what we're going to do now is fill this particular image with ink. So I'll just put this, put the black to one side and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's take some makeup sponges and let's take the colour. So I'm going to use orange. I'm going to, you can use any ink pads like the artistry inks, distress ink. thing about distress oxides is I love the look when you, when you spritz them. I okay. like that look. So, so let's have a look. I'm going to use orange first and let's load up this little angel. So you'll see, all I'm going to do is use a makeup sponge and I'll add a little bit of orange in there first. Right, so you use a makeup sponge to, to, apply, the, to, to apply the different coloured inks. Right. Now we've got candied apple. That's a nice red. So let's add a little bit of candied apple around here too. Right, and I'll show you what we're going to... And the thing is, the more ink that you load onto the... As you, as you do more and more of these, it's like you're seasoning the stamp and right. the, the colour stays and you, you don't wash it off, you just add another colour and another colour and it just adds more and more interest as you go along. Oh, okay. It's really, yeah. really cool to do it like this. Nice. Now, let's take this one. What we've got here, seedless preserves. Let's see. So we're looking at the colour here. See, we're picking out the orange, we're picking out the red and now we're picking out that lovely burgundy. Mm. So this Amazonia is one of the newest ones, yes. the newest designer papers. Um, I'll just put a little bit of that colour in that, just around the outside now, just adding a little bit there. So you can you can fiddle around with colour until, you know, you've got your perfect blend. Lovely blend. But let's just show you how it works. Now, on the back, for example, let me just show you. I'm going to blot this so you see how it looks when it's completely... Ooh. Okay, so you can see here, yeah. that's without the line art. That's the infill on its own. Got you. Which looks delightful beautiful. as well. Just beautiful. Right, you don't need the black line art around the outside if you don't want no. it. It looks just perfect like this. Yeah, it does. However, and here comes the trick now. If I, let me just add a tiny little bit more, just so that we get a bit more oomph. I probably don't even need to. But I'm not re-inking the sponge. I'm just adding a little bit more colour. Okay. So that so that we get a, we you can see when the colour moves when I spritz it. Right. I reckon this is going to look so nice. So you can see I'm not actually adding anything to the sponges. No. So I've got my colour on here. Now I'm going to invite you to watch because it's about how if you over. Put too much on, you can saturate it. So what we're going to do is just hold it like so, right? Spritz the bottle. It's only water. It's water, right? So we'll just let it let it just start, and then we'll just add a little bit. May have overcooked it, but that's all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can see I've got loads of water. You know, like when you you know that could be a little bit extreme, Greg. Right. <laughs> but the good news is. I've got one that I did earlier. Uh, right, so now when, I, le when I lean this over like so, right, let me see if you can see this on the other camera. Let me see if I can show you this. As I lean over like this, it sits exactly. I just need to get my head in the right place, right, so I can, as I lay down, right, now I've got it in place, and then as I squish, it starts to move the ink around. Oh, yes. And that way, can, can you see it? Yeah, 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 it's underneath it. It becomes like a watercolour oh, wow. painting. Look. Yeah. That's beautiful. Look, isn't that lovely? You see? That is lovely. You didn't overcook here, that at all. I know. No, I don't think I did. No. Look, and here's one, just in case it went wrong, there's the other one. That looks more <laughs> overcooked. <laughs> That's beautiful. But don't they, I mean, how quick is this to do, wow. you know? 
How pretty is that, eh? That's really beautiful, that. Really nice. And the news is, the good news is, look how perfectly it sits with the yeah. card in the background yeah that was the point i was trying to make that it sits so beautifully now the bauble I, I did the same thing earlier exactly the same principle i took the stamp board which is great for um it's including the name stamp board right and you can see <laughs> i i did some what we call partial partial art so i stamped the um the baubles off it doesn't always have to be bang in the middle. Right. See, a bit off-centre like yeah. this works beautifully. Now, one thing that our good friends at home are going to ask is, do I do this one first or the outline? Yeah. I find, I find it's always easier to line up the infill once I've done the outline. OK. I just find it's easier that way round. Right. If you do this one first, the infill, and then go in with that one, often it looks quite nice. It looks like it's offset, like um, like a drop shadow. Right. A little bit Andy warhol -y. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. looks good as well. Like, <laughs> like some people deliberately do that. And if you wear very focals, you're in for a treat because you're going to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's how that works. Now, if you wanted to colour in this area, let's say, then the way to do that is, again, you can use, and we were talking about these earlier, oh, you yes. can use the ink pads and you can use these blending pens. I think they're on, they're on you've got them. Yeah, the I think pole, we're going to try and sure. bring the details up now for them as well, Barbara, yeah. Brilliant. And so, and the idea is, let's say, for example, we've got our mix mat. This is just a, it's just a mat that we can, it's got a bit of purchase. And say I want to colour this little bird in, in orange. Then what I do is I just add a little bit of orange to the mix mat and perhaps a little bit of water. That was a bit extreme. <laughs> Watch, when you, when you put the nib in there, it just soaks up some water and then you can dilute it so that the so now I've got a palette you see right. I've got my own palette going right and then once I'm happy with that then I can go in and I can start to actually use the same color oh look, nice and it works beautifully yeah and so easy to do and of course, I'm using exactly the same colours yeah. as I've got in the background. So very easy to do, um, uh, very effective. The more water, the the lighter the colours. Um, the less water, the more intense the colours. But but what you're doing is you're opening up all your all your ink pads. And this could work with with distress, mm. with the distress, with the distress oxides, with the, arc uh, with the artistry inks. This works with any water-based, dye-based inks. Right. But it's a real nice way of colouring in as well. Yeah, be yeah? beautiful results on those. And, and like you say, with, with these, yeah. uh, in, across the board with these stamps, they all lend themselves that, that lovely m medley of colours that work with them, uh, that, that you get, works so lovely. And they will work for any one of these images, won't they? And by the way, it's very, very busy Fantastic. still. Uh, but over a third of the stock has gone on the launch already. Has it? Yeah. Has it? I'm not surprised. These stamps are so lovely. Um, and so I, I just wanted to show you how they work, yeah. you know. And, and like I say, for me, it always works best if you if you find the background first right. and then establish colour. It's always easier than, than going with the colour and then spending the next two hours trying to find a matching yeah. background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, worst case scenario, you make your own, you know, you can do that. Um, but when you're going into mass production, this is a really good way to work. Yeah. Um, let me show show you, for example, one that I did, and you'll see now, a completely different colourway. We don't need to do it, because I think it's obvious. Um, I'd like to show you another another um, piece of artwork. But this again, you see, I used this piece from Amazonia. I used that bit in the background, stencil card. I used the outline. So this is what you do here. You use the outline first. Then you stamp over here. You know, like I blotted. Yes. You know, oh, like yeah. I blotted on there. So I blotted it first there. Then I spritzed it, and then I went in. Got so, you. so it's the black one, then the solid one, then the solid one watered, and I filled it in with that one. And when you look, you can see the mottled effect 
of the distress oxides. There you go. Oh, yes, yes, so that's definitely. That's dry, that's dry, and that's wet. And spritz, yeah. Lovely, I love them, I nice, love the colours. Yeah. Mm. And then the other thing, before we move on to the next demo, the only other thing I wanted to show you was those little corners. If I show oh, yeah. you one of the corner stamps, it just one of the corner stamps. And just so that um, the good people at home that are not familiar with corners, when you can see through a stamp, it's all in the right angle. So, for example, this is just a piece of um, stencil card. So just so you, you can use um, stamp board, you can use stencil card. But let me just show you. I'm just going to do it with a black ink pad to show you how it works. From Can you see that OK? Yeah, yeah, perfect. My head's not in the way, is it? No, right, no, perfect. This is the way to go. You need to be able to see it. And then, and then you just press like so, right? So I've got it in the same, and I can see the right angle. Then I'm going to turn the card, make the art come to you. Rather than start fiddling like that with the stamp, mm. hold the stamp so you can see it. Right, watch where I press. So I come along here like this, and then I, I, I'll hover until I'm happy with the, and then I press. You see? Yeah. And I'm pressing on the corner. Oh, yeah. That's a, then I turn again, then I go like that, and then I press. Then I go again. And I turn, and then I line up the heart and the heart there. Keep your eye on both. But you press there. That's where I'm pressing. And that's how you get these lovely little oh, beautiful. borders, you see? And it's the little tiny flourishes. See, I really like this little bird. So I could just, let's say, I could pop that little bird in like that. This isn't even a centrepiece. This is just one of the little yeah. the pieces <laughs> of here, right? One of the bauble. That's for the things. bauble one, that's it. Um, you know, and then you could pop that on there. Now you can use stickers. We're right into our stickers. You know, the Christmas stickers, they're brilliant. Um, like, they, they're great. They're on your show as well. So you can use those. Or we've got the, the lovely little um, the word chains. So I could take Noel, for example, and this is from a whole other different set. But it just looks oh, so yeah. woof, you that's, know, absolutely perfect. So and then simple, when you but colour that's, this in. That, I say that's so simple, that bar, but so effective on that, again, just by those three simple stamps, you know, with the, with the corners, yeah. the bird, and then the sentiment with it. it that, that's brilliant. That looks lovely. A little bit of colouring in on that. And then as far as edging goes, this is another thing. If I just show you with the edging, if you take a, a brush, for example, and you decide which colour you want. So, for, for example, on here, I'm going to go with the orange. You see, I've loaded up my brush oh, yeah, with the yeah. orange. And you'll see now, because this is mount board, when I do this and I flick, you can see you get a really oh, cool yes. edge. Yeah. Right? And so you don't have to run pens along it or anything. You just literally, it, it looks so professional. Yeah. When you, look, it's so nice. Just do that. And there's, and there's your, your lovely border. Oh, sorry. There. There we like are. Like that. Looks so classy, you know. Lovely little touches. Doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, so, so that's how the brushes work, really good for framing. You know, because I think that's it. When you're working, when you're using, um, when you're using Christmas, when you're making Christmas um, cards, it is one of those occasions where you, where you usually batch make. I don't like the word batch making, but that is a fact, isn't yeah. it? You do yeah. make more yeah. than, than just one usually, you, you know. Unless you, you know, sometimes some of those parchment cards, you think, cool, you got to love someone to make one of those for Christmas, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> hey. I, I made one for my mum, and every year I say, you get it out again now, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're all you're all heart, Barbara. You're all heart. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, and I tell you what, my mum, she's been giving my dad the same anniversary card for 39 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Yeah. Uh, so that, that's getting your money's worth. She just puts worth. a line in it. There's 61 years now. She just puts a line in it. Happy 61 now it is. <laughs> you, it's just full of numbers. I, it's like a bingo card more than a, than a lovely <laughs> than a card. Tell you. And they say romance is dead. I don't believe them. I don't believe them. Uh, uh, this, the, it, it's phenomenal. Listen, I'll just do a quick, a quick uh, update uh, where we are now Please with do, our one-day yeah. special. Uh, we are approaching now 40% of the stock. Now, this is a, a one-day special. It's not just a special for an hour. This is a one-day special. We're approaching now 40% of the stock gone in just under 39 minutes. So, again, now is your time. We're going to get back to Barbara shortly to see more demonstrations. But this is your time now to put these into your basket. You will be getting 57 stamps. These are the two-way stamps. And you've just seen then, of course, how Barbara is working with them. So you've got the in and the out again when you look at the images and both of them are beautiful now just to give you a quick update when you can sort of see how these work and I would say these are the most beautiful the filigree the detail that's onto the snowman the baubles everything is lovely the corners that Barbara was talking about are on the uh, the angel that you can see here that set there they're also another one of the corners and those lines to bring them together if you wanted to uh, also on the baubles uh, that are there for you there's our beautiful little um, bird uh, stamp that was used then by Barbara, of course. That's your large and uh, bauble set. Um, you've also got the gifts uh, that are there with them, the little presents as well as them with those. That's your presents and baubles set. Beautiful collection. And we've also got the robins and the poinsettias there. They're all absolutely beautiful. And again, if you look back and think back to how Barbara was doing that colouring uh, with those, matching it and bringing it into play with the papers, they look stunning, don't they? You get some really lovely effects now all of this is a set for your one day special has got a fantastic deal on this one so actually you're getting 20 pounds off for your one day special price so basically you are getting eight sets here and you're not paying for two of them so you're getting eight for the price of actually six of them and that is your one day special that's the offer that we want you to take advantage of over the course of this uh, promo for you for the one day special um, they are beautiful they're absolutely gorgeous the item code that you need for these is not 904704. Now, I warn you, we are looking at 40% of the stock pretty much already allocated here. It is available on your Flexi Buy. So, your two payments are just £29.96, your first payment. And that will obviously open up your Flexi offer as well, then. So, you can add more to that if you wanted to and spread the cost, of course, which is lovely. Uh, now, we've also got your groovy plates. And these are the inspiration to the sets that we've just been talking about, actually. This set here, $14.99 is going to give you the Christmas Snowman and Robins. Item code 10746. So again, all the lovely, beautiful uh, detail that you just saw there on the stamps, all there to work with your groovy plates. If you have got that starter kit with your groovy plates and you get these, you're good to go. And as you also heard as well from Barbara, there's plenty of support there for you as well. If you need any help and support, there's plenty of support there and encouragement, of course, to work with, which is great. And don't forget, once these have gone, they have gone. We've got no more that's going to come back on extended uh, delivery, etc. Uh, next set we've got for you here is your Christmas presents and holly. Again, absolutely beautiful. 558132. Five, these are your A4 square size, by the way. A4 square size. 558 five, 132 again 14.99 now, if you've been really taken by the baubles, then we have got those for you also available for your groovy. These are your Christmas baubles. Uh, item is 903568. I hear there's a lot of people putting these into the baskets as we're talking about them. So really, really, really be please be quick while I give you all the facts and figures to go with this. Uh, 1499. Uh, right, uh, Barbara is there. We've only got about 12 minutes left of the launch, which is phenomenal. It goes so quick in Barbara's company. Uh, back over to you, Barbara. What have we got to look at? At next right so in the first demo when we were we were demystifying the two-way overlay stamps I used designer papers didn't I and yes. this time I want to show you a new idea that we recently came up with and it's called a backdrop stamp so let me just show you now for example a backdrop stamp you look at it and you think what on earth is this and it literally is um, it's just a 
great big stamp um, with nothing on it at all uh, except this really neat gutter. This is the A6 one and there's also an A5 one and I want to show you how I've used it to great effect to create this background. You know it was Andy Duggan's um, card that you showed yeah. and I thought I love that <laughs> um, and then I thought oh I know I could use um, this backdrop stamp and show that off because lots of people bought them when they were on the telly right um, and I think it's a good idea to see different tricks with them absolutely so what we've got here is the presence right and you can see it's dark on that side but light on that side and I want to show you a really neat trick how did I get the the presence to be glossy like that I'm just using glossy accents right and all you do is when it's done you just put it on there spread it around a bit I use a um, a tool uh, an embossing tool from Groovy just to get it right to the edges but you can see that it looks really neat. Weird, okay, very it smart. Takes about an hour or so to dry but it's it's worth knowing. Right now let's have a look at this shall we? Let's do the background because the front's pretty obvious isn't it? Okay. Now we know now how how these work. Um, obviously this has been done with black ink straight over the background. There look one then over there two so you just use different parts of the stamp right right masking off the area in the center and then this one same thing again i just put a piece of masking tape across there to mask off that particular you know because it's a lot bigger than that look oh yeah right but the background is the interesting thing on this so backdrop stamp what i'm going to do is take again a couple of distress oxides now let me make sure just bear with me a moment no worries because i want to make sure that I've got the thing that I need. Just hold on one second. That's okay. I had it with me. I know I had it. And ah, oh, here it is. Because it's see-through, you can't see it. Look. Right. <laughs> what this is is it's nothing magic. It's just a poly bag. You know, it's like one of these bags, and it's just cut in half. Right. So it's that's it. That's all it is. It's just a, an ink spreader for me. So what I'm going to do is show you how. Let's have a look. We could put a little bit of, oh, let me get my, my right glasses on. A little <laughs> bit of blue. And I'm going with the um, ink pad straight onto this, um, onto this backdrop stamp, if you like. So I've got that one and I've got that one. Now, bear with me. I want another, there's another colour that I'm interested in because it gives it a bit more, you see? Gives it a bit yeah. more green around yeah, oh, here. Yeah, yeah. So let me just grab a makeup sponge again or a spot on sponge because I don't want to go like that and then contaminate my ink pad. So I'm going to use a makeup sponge just to get a little bit in here and there. See? Right. I don't mind getting that m messy, but I don't want to mess up the, the ink pad. Right. So I did it anyway. Right. So now <laughs> I've done that. And then what I'm going to do, instead of um, spritzing my stamp, I'm going to spritz the plastic, this piece of poly. Okay. Right? okay. And this will help the ink move around. So we don't want too much again, right? So we just get a bit of spritz going. Avoid electrical appliances <laughs> when you're spraying water <laughs> like this. And, right? and, and any children. <laughs> that could wake you up, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got a bit of water on there. Not too much. But enough to move, enough to move the ink around. That's not enough, I don't think. Right, that, that's definitely <laughs> enough. Right. So, okay. So what we're going to do now is take our plastic piece, right, and then we'll lay that down on there. And you'll see wow. Wow. now the ink just starts to move around, right? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is. So and so you're using the the plastic to shuffle the ink around. Yeah. But I'm definitely left heavy here, right? Yeah. So then when I do that, now let me just bear with me a minute. Then when I lift this off, right? Oh. So I've got, don't lose that because that's going to be cool. So we'll leave that over. Oh, God, look at the state of this kitchen. Right. <laughs> now, so we've got this. If you over, I haven't actually, it's not too bad, but if you over egg it and you put, and it's, it's flooded the gutter, you can always, you've got choices. You can take a bit of paper towel and you can just make a little bit of a, a tip like that. And then you can run it through the gutter like this. Okay. And it will just soak up 
the excess, right. right? I mean, failing that, if you're feeling extravagant, you could take one of our one of our blending nibs, and it, it is actually really nice. You just run it through there like so. You could use it again and again. Right, so now you've done that, you want to pull a print. So we're going to take some, um, what's this called? Clarity stencil card. Right, and then we're just going to, let's just make a print first. So we'll do that, and we'll run like so, and we should have it on one side. Right. right. So we'll go like that. And we're going to pull a print, and then we'll pull that off. Nice. Oh, oh that is right. great. Uh, we've only got one side. We haven't got the other side. So this is where it gets clever. So what we're going to do now, this side, we're going to spritz this now. Oh, okay. Right. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> right, now you're going to take the, and now you're going to spritz. Because if you look, let me show you. If you get up close, you can see there's still some ink still on there. Still plenty on there, yeah. Now, it might not look like much to you. Well, it probably isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll give it a go, right? <laughs> not too much. We're going to spray that end this time, <laughs> right? Up we go. I know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, that'll work. So now, look, we've wet that side, haven't okay. we? So now comes the tricky bit. Well, not at all. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is turn, the, look, because I can see through the stamp, I'm going to turn that round, turn that round, turn that round, turn that round. And this is where I get to, so now, excuse my head, but I get to line up. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. yeah, perfect. And I line up that end, and then when I bring down that side, I will get a border around right. there now. Right. Even that little bit. And this is the same principle as that. Right. Even though you think there's nothing left, right, when I lift that off, look. Oh, that's perfect. Boom. Perfect. Oh, no, it's the best one I've done so far. <laughs> what a lovely technique. I know. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Because now, you know, you've got, you've got the same colours, but you've got the light side for the outline and you've got the dark side where you can put your dramatic black yeah Isn't that look cool that is great we've got just less than four Practice. minutes just to let you know barbara <laughs> how much time have we got we've got about four and a half minutes well so so all we're going to do now literally is take a piece of masking tape and then where's my masking tape just take a piece of masking tape and then just put your masking tape on there like so this is still a bit wet so possibly i'd let that one dry and take one that i did earlier like that yeah yeah I've got loads of them. Look, I've been practicing. I like that one better. <laughs> I, I love the. Right. I just love the look. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, so arty. Yeah. You see, and then and then you just you literally you just stamp your image where you want it. So black archival ink, and then this one. Obviously, we want the top the top part of this. I, I think that these stamps are pretty spectacular. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So put that in there. They're so nice to use, Scott. They're yeah. so nice to use. They do. The I think they're beautiful. The designs are just so lovely, you see? And it just sits in the light area. And then you can take the dark one to infill it, just like we did before. And then you can take the dark one also, solid black now, right? And you can just, look, I'll just show you. And then I will hand back to you. No and worries. now I'm just going to literally stamp my my presence into the dark area look oh, wow. it's so nice wow. and you know all you got to do is just change put a couple up the top m mask it off and that's how you end up with this really nice kind of I just you like? absolutely love that technique, that background. Yeah. Uh, really busy yeah. for the background. That's stand, actually. key, yeah. I, I just think they're lovely techniques. No wonder you've actually got uh, lots of samples around there. They look a lot of fun to do as well. Um, but they really work, like you say, with these stamps that you've got. They are 
absolutely fantastic techniques to work with these. Get them home, give these a go with it. You will not be disappointed with the two-way Christmas stamps you've got here, I promise you. Um, the update at the moment, we are looking at 40% of the one-day special already now allocated. Uh, to get these into your basket, all you need is item number 904704. Pop those in. Don't forget, on your one-day special, it has that £20 saving. So that's a huge discount count basically so effectively you're getting two sets in this complete bundle that you're not paying for uh, with that sort of discount that you're seeing for the one day special that brings your price right down to 59.92 which is phenomenal um, so I have just 30 seconds to say now Barbara thank you so much indeed again for this hour it's been a real pleasure as usual um, I know that we've got Paul with us from eight o'clock that's correct isn't it that's right. Pause with you at eight o'clock and then I'm back at eight o'clock in the morning. Stop permitting. Oh. So thank you very much for your company, Scott. You've been absolutely brilliant, as has Molly. No, you are more than welcome. You're more than welcome. It's been a real, honestly, it's been a real pleasure from our end, I promise you. Listen, everyone's going to be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at eight. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time watching the kittens have a little play tonight. Lots of love and we'll see you very enjoy soon, Paul. Barbara. <laughs> Thanks very much. Enjoy Paul at eight. Bye-bye now. Will do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, everybody, so that is it. Uh, we've got a time now for you, of course, to make sure you get these into your basket before they have all gone. We don't want you to miss out on these. Thank you so much, Steve, for your company for this hour. Make sure you do come back and join Hayley and Paul at 8 o'clock. But don't go anywhere, because I've got a lovely guest.